Good morning, everyone. I am Professor Ankita Avasti, CSE Department, SIRT. Today's topic is algorithm. Today we will discuss about algorithm. Now, what is algorithm? It can be defined as a sequence of activities to be processed for getting desired output from a given input. A formula or set of steps for solving a particular problem to be an algorithm, a set of rules must be unambiguous and have a clear stopping point. That means an algorithm is a procedure used for solving a problem or performing a computation. Algorithm act as an exact list of instruction that conduct specified action step by step in either hardware or software based routine algorithm are widely used throughout all areas of IT. Algorithms are instructions for solving a problem or completing a task. Recipes are, are algorithm as are math equation, computer code is algorithmic, the internet run on algorithm, and all online searching is accomplished through them. There may be more than one way to solve a problem. So there may be more than one algorithm for a problem. Now, if we take definition of algorithm as a sequence of activities to be processed for getting desired output from a given in input, then we can say that getting a specified output is essential after algorithm is executed. One will get output only if algorithm stop after finite time. Activities in an algorithm to be clearly defined in other words for it to be unambiguous. That means it is a procedure used for solving a problem or performing a computation. The word algorithm means a set of rules to be followed in calculation or other problem solving operation. Otherwise a procedure for solving a mathematical problem in a finite number of steps that frequently by recursive operation. Therefore, algorithm refer to a sequence of finite steps to solve a particular problem. Before writing an algorithm for a problem, one should find out what is the input to the algorithm and what is expected output after running the algorithm. Now, let us take some exercise to develop an algorithm for some simple problem. While writing algorithm, we will use following symbol for different operation. Plus for addition, minus for subtraction, multiply for multiplication, divide for division, and this is comma for as, uh, inverted comma for assignment. In mathematics and computer science, an algorithm is a finite sequence of instruction typically used to solve a class of a specific problem or to perform a computation are used as a specification for performing calculation and data processing. By making use of artificial intelligence, algorithm can perform automated deduction and use mathematical and logical tests to divert the code execution through various rules using, referred to as automated decision making using human characteristics as descriptors of machines in metaphorical ways was already practiced by uh, with uh, terms such as memory. Example of algorithm. The write an algorithm to read two numbers and find their sum. Input to the algorithm, first number one and second number two. Expected output, sum of the two number. Algorithm step in step one. 
we can write start step 2 read input the first num 1 number 1 step 3 read input the second number 2 step 4 sum number 1 and number 2 number 1 plus number 2 this is the calculation of sum simple calculation step 5 print sum then step 6 end this is the example of algorithm to read two numbers and find their sum input to the algorithm next is properties of algorithm first is finiteness an algorithm must always terminate after a finite number of steps it means after every step one reach closer to solution of the problem and after a finite number of steps algorithm reach to an end point second is define definiteness def definiteness each step of an algorithm must be defined it is done by well thought action to be performed at each step of the algorithm also the action are defined for each activity in the algorithm that means the steps in the algorithm must be clearly defined and detailed and in finiteness means the algorithm must come to an end after a specific number of steps that's it next is input the input used in an algorithm must come from a specified set of elements where the amount and type of inputs are specified any operation you perform need some beginning value quantities associated with different activities in the operation so the value quantities are given to the algorithm before it begins next is output the algorithm must specify the output and how it is related to the input one always expect output result in terms of output from an algorithm the result may be obtained at different stages of the algorithm if some result is from the intermediate stage of the operation then it is known as intermediate result and result obtained at the end of algorithm is known as end result the output is expected value quantities always have a specified relation to the input last is effectiveness the step in the algorithm must be effective to be developed to return using basic operations actually operations should be basic so that even they can in principle be done exactly and in a finite amount of time by a person by using paper and pencil only next is flow chart algorithm and flow chart are the powerful tool for learning programming an algorithm is a step by step analysis of the process while a flow chart explain the steps of a program in a graphical way and algorithm and flow chart helps to clarify all the steps for solving the problem how to plan and draw a basic flow chart firstly we will define your purpose and scope then identify the task in chronological order then organize them by type and corresponding shape such as process decision data input or output last draw your chart either sketching by hand or using a program the flow chart is a diagram which is visually present the flow of data through processing system this means by seeing a flow chart one can know the operation performed and the sequence of these operations in a system algorithm are nothing but sequence of steps for solving problem so a flow chart can be used for representing an algorithm a flow chart will describe the operation are required to solve a given problem you can see a flow chart as a blueprint of a design you have made for solving a problem for example suppose you are going for a picnic 
with your friends then you plan for the activities you will do there if you have a plan of activity then you know clearly when you will do what activity similarly when you have a problem to solve using computer or in other word you need to write a computer program for a problem then it will be good to draw a flow chart prior to writing a computer program it is drawn according to defined rules there are six basic rules six basic symbol commonly used in flow charting of assembly language program terminal process input output decision connector and predefined process this is not a complete list of all the possible flow charting symbol it is the ones used most often the symbol is rectangle process name is process then function of process it indicate any type of internal operation inside the processor or memory next name is input output used for any input output operation it indicate that the computer is to obtain data or output result next is a decision shape the symbol is diamond used to ask a question that can be answered in a binary format yes or no true or false next is circle connector allow the flow chart to be drawn without intersecting line or without a reverse flow then predefined process then terminal and then flow line flow line show direction of flow terminal should indicate the starting or ending of the program process or interrupt program that means a flow chart is the graphical or pictorial representation of an algorithm with the help of different symbol shape and arrow in order to demonstrate a process or a program with algorithm we can easily understand a program the main purpose of a flow chart is to analyze different process it is a graphical representation of the steps a program takes to process data in this we can use several geometric pattern to illustrate the numerous action the program carries out and algorithm is a procedure or set of rules that define how a program is to be executed each flow chart general rules for flow charting each flow chart must have one and only one start object the flow of control must always enter an object from the top the flow of control must always leave an object from the bottom except for the season object which allow the flow of control to leave from the side the flow of control must, must not split there are different guidelines guidelines for developing flow chart the flow chart can have only one start and one stop symbol on page connector are referenced using number of page connector are, are referenced using alphabets the general flow of process is top to bottom or left to right arrow should not cross each other first is starting and ending points every flow chart must have a starting and ending point they are represented by a rounded rectangle or ellipsis with the word start and end inside since the process may have several different results depending on the decision made during the flow the flow chart can have several possible end point with a circle or oval representing each end point because you don't know uh, how much space you will need begin by drawing the start chip and draw the end symbol last start and end next is action in flow chart a rectangle stand for an action or operation that must be taken to move the next step in the process the process itself and the variable involved are written inside the shape for input and output use parallelogram the rectangle often contain an action verb the user as to the action to take for example the human resource management may contain action such as interview the applicants recruits or evaluate employees performance next is connector and arrow of flow chart the line with arrow indicate the workflow through the process and connect each processes the reader follow the arrow from the start usually starting from the uh, top down or from left to right 
through each input and decision point until the process reached the end point. If you draw flowchart manually, edit shape and text before drawing connector. In other words, before you connect a shape, check and make sure that all steps have been added so that you won't have to make modification frequently. Common elements. Use a diamond to stand for decision. Write the specific condition near the arrow leading from the conditional diamond, which will often be a simple true and false. Where necessary, supplement conditional with logical or and end operators. Last is other elements. Some more complicated flowchart may involve database, document, or manual operation. Represent a database using a cylinder facing upward. For a document or report, use a rectangle with a curve base. You can also represent manual process in your flowchart, applying a rectangle with the upper edge. Upward to indicate a manual input. Next is complexity. Algorithmic complexity is a measure of how long an algorithm would take to complete given an input of size and if an algorithm has to scale, it should compute the result within a finite and practical time bound even for large values of n. Complexity is calculated asymptotically as n approaches infinity, while complexity is usually in terms of time. When we analyze an algorithm, we use a notation to represent its time complexity. Complexity is, is, is the, a measure of the amount of time or space required by an algorithm for an input of a given size. First is a space complexity of an algorithm or a computer program is the amount of memory space required to solve an instance of the computational problem as a function of characteristics of, a in, of the input. It is the memory required by an algorithm until it executes completely. Space complexity is equal to auxiliary space plus space used for input value. Next is time complexity is the number of operation and algorithm performed to complete it, its task. Considering that each operation takes the same amount of time, the algorithm that performs the task in the smallest number of operations is considered the most efficient one in terms of the time complexity. For any loop, we find out the runtime of the block inside them and multiply it by the number of times the program will repeat the loop. All loops that grow proportionally to the input size have a linear time complexity. If you uh, loop through only half of the array, suppose we want to add two integer numbers to solve this problem, input A, input B, Section C is equal to input A plus input B, A plus B, write sum is C, then exit. Thank you.